And it's a clip from Bubba Love Sponge. So bear with me, I'll set it up. So this, I've just recorded again now. So this is off TikTok. And uh, sadly, I didn't record you laughing at Vince McMahon in his Speedos. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is from uh, the Bubba Army TikTok video. And it is an old clip of Hulk Hogan talking about... In fact, why don't we, why don't we just listen to it and react? Yeah, let's listen. Tell me the story the one time that uh, that uh, Vince h- hid you in his attic for like a month. That's when the feds were looking for me. The feds were looking for you to testify against him, and he stayed, <laughs> right? Yeah, it was a good plan for a while. And he, and he I, st- think, I think Macho was on Stooge's house. You know, <laughs> where did he where did he hide you at? A whole bedroom upstairs, like a whole house upstairs. And he hid you up there, and and like were you you're not allowed to go out in public. You couldn't do any. Job. I didn't want to. I was scared. Where did they finally track you down at? Well, I think you know Macho came over to talk to Vince about. You know, whatever bookings or business, or whatever. And Randy and I had this whistle that he used to call his German Shepherd that, <laughs> like that. Right. And like a dumbass, I did it when Randy was in the house to let him know I was upstairs. Next thing I know, the feds were banging on the door two days later. You think he's the one that stooged you? Oh, I think so. So, we can listen to it again. I mean, that was a lot to. That. I have never heard that story. No, I've never heard the story. Ever heard that story. So let's let's just. But I'm gonna tell you what everything that Hogan says, I listen to because it just gets more, <laughs> more and more entertaining. The more I hear the guy, so he he hid out for a month upstairs, in, in Vince's house, and he get he did the dog whistle, or whatever, and. Randy heard it, and the feds came over two days later. Hmm, yeah, to uh, hand Hulk Hogan a subpoena to testify against Vince. Now, keep okay. in mind... Uh, Wait sorry, a minute, let me ask you. They came over two days later. Was Hogan still there? Apparently so. He was hiding upstairs. <laughs> so, uh, and so they ha- handed him a subpoena to appear, right? Mm-hmm. I don't believe that shit at all. No. So, okay, so the timeline doesn't really add up as well. You tell me, because I, you will have a better idea of this American legal system, is how early on are you handed a subpoena? Because Hulk Hogan and Vince McMahon had a falling out, basically, in August 1993, and the trial took place in July 1994. So there's an 11-month period. So this apparently must have happened before they had a falling out for Vince McMahon to put up Hulk Hogan in his house for over a month. Well, yeah, but it was a year's difference between what you said in 93 and 94. How many, how many months is that? It was about 11 months. So, I mean, if you're and handed a subpoena, has someone handed a subpoena 13 months before a trial, or are they handed it about a few weeks before the trial? Oh, it could be handed at any time, I think. But before you handed a subpoena, wouldn't you... You would get a lawyer, especially in this, and let him handle this stuff for you till you get time to to tell. I don't know. It doesn't make a damn bit of sense. And if he if he hid upstairs, what is he he going to hide for the rest? <laughs> is he going to hide for five years up there? I don't get it. Also, since when do the feds only search the ground floor of a house? They go, right. stairs, right. I can't be bothered with the stairs. Note, we're off. See you later. I mean, it makes no sense whatsoever. And they went to Vince's house to track Hogan down. And why was Vince holding, letting Hogan stay up there? With They wanted him to testify against Vince? Uh, that is true. The, the federal government did want Hulk Hogan to testify against Vince. Yeah, he was the star witness. And when Hulk Hogan took the stand, he basically won the case for Vince, essentially, and said, no, you know, he never forced me to take steroids or provide me steroids or whatever. uh, Well, I don't see why he was, I don't know. That is, I've never heard that before in my life, and it's a bullshit, it it was a bullshit answer, and it's a bullshit, uh, I don't know, the whole thing was bullshit. Crazy. (laughs) 